In this tutorial, we'll walk through setting up and running jobs on AWS with Atlas Community Edition. First step is to sign in to the AWS console on the link that you see on the screen and then go to the EC2 service. When you get to the EC2 dashboard, just click to launch an instance. Here on the Community AMIs tab, and we can search for Atlas CE and select the image that says in the description Atlas Community Edition on Deep Learning AMI for Ubuntu. It's important to note that the image we're using is only available in select regions in AWS, so we have to switch to one of those before selecting it. The image is available on any region from the US, Canada Central, or Europe London, or Europe Ireland. Next, we'll start configuring our instance. And here we'll select a P2 instance. You have to scroll down a little bit because we want a GPU and this is the instance that offers a better balance between performance and cost. On step three, there's uh, no configuration that we have to pay attention to. We can just skip to add storage step where we recommend at least 250 gigs because the image itself is already 80. Tags, again, is something we can skip and on to the next step. And finally, we'll configure the security settings. Uh, for all the rules here, it's important to select the source as my IP. It will automatically detect your IP address, including the SSH row. Then we'll add three more rules for ports 5555 for the GUI, 5557 for the REST API, and 5959 for the archive server. At the end, just click review and, review and launch. And our instance setup should now look similar to what you see in the screen. Just click launch and then it should ask you to create a new key pair. Go ahead, create a new key pair, give it the name Atlas C. Or you can reuse one if you've already done this before. Download the key pair. Check our downloads directory for the downloaded key. And finally launch the instances. Now we'll open a terminal and we'll use our downloaded PAM key to SSH into the instance to check that everything is set up correctly. First, we'll copy the key to the .ssh directory and then chmod 400 on the key to give it the proper permissions. Then we can SSH into the instance with that key. You can get the IP address for the instance to SSH here in the dashboard. First time, uh, you may expect uh, up to 30 seconds uh, to SSH in. Now with the IP for the instance that we just copied from the dashboard, we're going to open a browser window, put that IP in the address bar, colon 5555, which as you remember, is the port that we set in the rules for the GUI. Now we'll use VS Code to run a job remotely on our AWS instance. First you open the VS Code IDE and click on the lower left and look for remote SSH commands. The first one connects to host here is what we're looking for. And we can SSH into our remote instance. We'll have to adjust the config file for that to work. We have to add the location file for the PM key. Once that is done, we can go back to the command palette and connect to host. Now it's going to show that it's connecting there at the bottom left corner, and you can see the IP of the remote instance. Now back to our IDE, we're going to activate bash. So 
open bash here on the right source dot bash rc and then activate our conda environment to load up the preset libraries when that is activated we can run foundations init hello atlas to create an example project navigate into the newly created hello atlas directory and run the sample code provided by running python main.py now we can go to the GUI to see the experiment to go to the GUI we open a browser enter the instance IP address colon 5555 and now we can see our first project finally don't forget to tear down your instance on AWS otherwise you'll be incurring costs indefinitely